afternoon, folks. This is Kimberly Justice uh, reporting in live today from Jam Glam Music Radio Show today on iHeartRadio. We are so excited because we have an outstanding, fascinating, drop-dead gorgeous, beautiful young lady on the line with us today. She is an extraordinaire in the area of being a cellist. According to Newsweek magazine, Russian-born cellist Nina Kotova is a fantastically gifted cellist, very expressive and imaginative. She has power. She has a powerful stage presence. Time magazine states she's a musician of high seriousness and real talent. She has been the subject of numerous features in Vogue, Ellie, Hello, and even the Sunday Telegraph and the Wall Street Journal has mentioned Nina's extraordinary ability to play the cellist in, in just an imaginative way. And we're just excited to have Nina today on the line with us. Nina, are you there? Yes. Hello, Kimberly. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. On the you show. are a legend. You are a legend. And you've been on the covers of Classic FM, Gramophone China, uh, you've been in Italia, you know, Bernard, 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 Italia, I don't want to butcher the name, as well as Regis Digest and Television, A&E, Breakfast with the Arts, with, on the Charlie Rose Show. You, you're a walking, living legend. Um, thank you, but, um, it is all, um, years of, uh, hard work. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, you, you I went to the Mount Observatory. <laughs> I have enjoyed also years of uh, um, concerts playing around the world, and I have studied in Russia, graduated from the Moscow Conservatory, and I studied in Germany, I graduated um, in Köln, in Germany, and uh, there have been years of uh, playing concerts for people. This is what I enjoy doing. And um, wow. having interesting projects with uh, musicians, with actors, with dancers. I'm also a composer. Mm-hmm. So I have um, written many works. Also mm-hmm. recorded the cello concerto that I have written. And I have recorded and playing it as well with an orchestra. It has been actually over ten years ago, and uh, my uh, one of my recent recordings is Six Suites by Bach for cello solo, and I have uh, oh, I'm very excited. I have a new recording coming out um, this week. Gosh, it is um, of Russian music, Russian sonatas by Rachmaninoff and Prokofiev. Mm. And this is uh, the repertoire that uh, is uh, very special, also because I'm Russian-born, I grew up in Moscow, and um, this is Russian music. And this is where my heart belongs, (laughs) so I can speak the language, (laughs) I suppose. And uh, I really hope that people enjoy listening to this. Recording. You just did a you just did a tour with John Malkovich, correct? Yes, we were touring in Argentina, and um, mm. it, it was uh, a wonderful experience for me. Mm. And um, I will never forget how intense John is on stage when we are together on stage a few meters away from each other, there is never an opportunity for a musician to collaborate with an actor, with a great actor on stage at the same time. And um, I was playing um, a fantastic work by uh, John Taverner for cello and orchestra, which uh, is uh, over 45 minutes long, and it's constantly... (laughs) Um, cello playing uh, almost without any um, break and um, 
the cello is playing in the, in the violin register most of the time. So it's very challenging, but so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And John, whenever, you know, this is a, a collaboration, so there's acting and there's playing. So when I was playing and John was just listening to me play, um, I thought, I was very honored to to be there on stage with him at the same time, and he that's was a huge, that's in a huge. rehearsal. Yes, in a rehearsal, not at all overpowering, and um, the opposite, uh, very considerate. That's what John is. Wonderful experience. <laughs> well, that's like a once in a lifetime experience. Like you know, like everyday people, you know. When you get an opportunity like that and you get to live to tell about it, that's the, again, that's why I called you a walking legend. You've also been uh, presented with an award for outstanding cultural contribution to Tuscany um, from the Tucson, Tucson American Association as co-founder of the Tucson Sun Festival. How was that for you? Yes, um, um, we, my husband and I, we founded a, a festival in Cortona in Tuscany years ago. It must have been over 10 years ago. And we ran it for 10 years. Um, so it, that was like a, a mecca for people to come. And we were so fortunate to have worked with incredible people um, in the arts, of uh, actors, musicians, uh, composers, dancers, photographers. <laughs> Artists. Yeah. So it was a real celebration of arts, a festival, a true festival, and also culinary arts and wine. Of course, yeah. why it's Tuscany, right? This is like Napa Valley where we had another festival that we ran also for 10 years. And it's all inspired by um, love to to music and to the arts. <laughs> fine well, arts, because, you know, there's plenty of art. Fine arts. This is fine arts, yeah. This is, uh, this is distasteful art. I mean, you've even played with Sting. What was it like working with Sting? Oh, my gosh, I love Sting. I do, absolutely, as well, um, and Trudy. We uh, were all on stage in a in, um, play dedicated to Robert and Clara Schumann. And uh, they were acting, Sting and Trudy were acting in the play. And the play also included a cello and a few other musicians. And this is, this is what we did. Mm. Uh, again, another um, one of uh, a kind uh, experience for me personally. And as an artist, um, I, I'm open-minded. I'm not closing myself and my mind just into playing um, an instrument. I'm also a pianist uh, and a composer. But um, I'm looking up at people who uh, can uh, teach me something. And uh, that is the most valuable experience for me. And it has been working with Sting and Trudy. Hmm. Wow. And you've also had the distinction of performing live and broadcast from Red Square in Moscow to the Imperial Family of Japan and at Buckingham Palace and a special concert yes. for Prince Charles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my I goodness. Because, because I still remember. Uh, I will never forget these moments. Uh, and, of course, uh, it's a pleasure for me to share these memories oh, with uh, my audience yeah, this Absolutely. is this is really huge. I mean, you know, did you get a chance to meet any of the family from the Imperial family or from, you know, from, from the Buckingham Palace? Yes, of course, we met after the concert. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we did. Wow. We actually, uh, as an artist, uh, I have been invited to um, share dinner together after the oh. performance. Mm. No, I would, I would want to come with you. Uh, 
very special experience, and I have been very honored to have been so fortunate. And oh, my you gosh, you're running in the circle of royalty. I mean, seriously, <laughs> that's like, you know, that's like every girl's dream. You know what I mean? You I know, yeah. So. Thank you. Yes, but absolutely. And um, music knows no boundaries. I think that no. um, one can share music is, is a language of, you know, not just love, but um, respect and uh, admiration and poetry it's something it's poetry that that is um, um, recited without words mm-hmm. music mm-hmm. at what age did you realize that you this is your soul's calling Nina at what age were you when you realized you know what when I put this chalice, chalice in my hands and I hold this this is where I express my soul to the world what, what, what age did that happen for you I think I must have been about five or six years old. Oh, my God. And uh, I asked uh, my parents to take me to the music school. I come from a musical family, and my father was uh, uh, an incredible double bass player. He won uh, the first prize and uh, all special prizes in Geneva in 1973 as a double bassist. And uh, he played many premieres of contemporary composers and works that have been written for him um, in the 70s and 80s in the Soviet Union. So um, I've heard him practice and play, and I went to the concerts uh, as a baby. And uh, I clearly remember... You know, my memory goes back to when I was a very young child. So, it, you know, the music, wherever he was playing, it just, um, it must have influenced my uh, understanding of life and what I love and what I would like to do. And that's what I said. I would like to become a musician. <laughs> and my parents didn't take it seriously at first, but uh, I had to remind them. And I think wow. I did the right thing. Oh, you did it. Know. You did it well. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're playing for royals and imperials and, you know, uh, you, you're just, you're doing amazing things. Red squares in Moscow and, you know, you're playing with people like Sarah Chang and Lang Lang and Joshua Bell and Ho. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you're just, you know, that's just like, you know, like I said, you're a walking to so, you're, you, Nina Tatova is just a walking legend in her own. <laughs> You just, you know, you should start writing your autobiography right now. As soon as we get off the phone, just go ahead and start writing it because I'm going to read it. This is just amazing. This oh, is what fairy tales are made But oh, uh, it's my pleasure. But the see, the recordings that have been released is just a, a small part of my repertoire. Um, mm. I have enjoyed playing Rachmaninoff and Prokofiev sonatas for many years in recitals. And this is what I have recorded. This is what is coming out this week um, on Warner Classics label. But wow. there's so much more, and I'm I'm going to write for film. This is my new project this year as a composer. Wow. So it's just, a, and we're hoping to continue our collaboration with John Malkovich with more performances, perhaps a different work. A uh, different concerto will work mm. together with. And mm. so uh, it's the plans. Um, they're always plans, and um, um, this is what feeds my imagination: is um, meeting, uh, uh, collaborating. Actually, rehearsals is what. Um, I enjoy the most. Of course, the performance is, uh, um, you know, the highlight. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's so much that is that um, can be said during a rehearsal, and you know, all these, uh, you know, dynamics of people's characters, and there's uh, so much that's happening. At the same time, there could be nothing happening, but you can feel it under the waters. Mm-hmm. 
gives you an interesting perspective. So now you said you have a um, you're going to be composing for a movie. Are you are you allowed to speak on what movie it is, or is that something that's still being worked out? Yes, uh, it has been worked out, but um, I will um, um, probably um, tell everybody after I have the work done, and I'll mm-hmm. be happy to share with people uh, later on. Absolutely. But stuff like this now, is very yeah. delicate. When it's very delicate yeah. things like stuff for the arts, you just don't want it. You don't want the wrong information. You don't want the wrong people getting the wrong information out there. You know what I mean? And, and just chasing it either. I don't want anyone chasing my stuff, so I don't say anything. It's just the way it is. We try, we like musicians like to keep it a secret before it's actually done. And that's right. What I do too. I do too. So I'm in the industry too, and I, I totally get it. Even in the, you know, in the acting, anything with the arts, it's very delicate, and you don't share with, you don't share any of it until it's completely done, because you just don't want it getting handled or any bad thoughts or anything happening, or you know, it's just it's just the way of the business, and it works. It totally works. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, Nina, I, you know, you have this composing coming up, and is there anything else coming up with your music? Are you going on any further tours? Um, is there anything else that you'd like the world to know about Nina and what's coming up, what's coming up for you? Yes, apart from uh, continuing our collaboration with John Malkovich, I'm also performing with Ellen Grimoire, one of the greatest pianists of our wow. time. We're playing in Palm Springs in February, on the 18th of February. We're playing a recital together. And we're working on the program now. So that is going to be announced on the website, I'm sure. Wow. Are you excited? Is this yeah. is this like really exciting for you where you're able to do all these amazing things and meet all these amazing people, work with all these amazing people, and live your life calling? Yes, of course. Uh, that's what um, I do every day. I I cannot imagine my day spending a day without uh, uh, spending a few hours with the cello. Um, wow. Rehearsing. But we have worked with Alain previously before um, at our festival in Tuscany. So we're going to finally meet again. And uh, now during the concert season, which is wonderful. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm, I have plans to write, and I have a few more releases that are in work. A little bit early to announce the date yet. Wow. So the main, well, the main event is the, the upcoming release. Well, we're, we're looking forward to, you know, following your career and what you're doing. Would you mind sharing with our listeners mm-hmm. um, how they can follow you, please? Well, it is easy to find me. I have a website, ninakotovo.com, where uh, one can see, um, for example, the upcoming CD releases, uh, my uh, works I have written as a composer, reviews, and so on. There's also the contact page. Uh, Also, of course, I have... Social media, Facebook page. I have um, a Twitter page and uh, Instagram, I believe. So, so <laughs> I'm there. Yeah. Well, Mina, I want to thank you so much for interviewing with us today. You are an amazing, amazing spirit. You are just your, your spirit. You said. John's spirit is huge. I'm talking to you on the phone, and I, I'm your spirit is huge. And the beautiful thing about it is that your spirit is huge, you're very humble, and you're beautiful, and you're talented, and you have an accent to boot. So, I mean, seriously, <laughs> with a combination like that, that's just your magic, if you ask me. Kimberly, thank you very, very much. <laughs> and I really enjoyed talking <laughs> to you. You were – so you gave me um, – a, a wonderful amount of uh, uh, energy, positive energy, that uh, I'm just so that I'm, I think I'm like a light bulb now. 
<laughs> I am Yay! smiling and, uh, and thank you very much for that uh, um, kindness and uh, for the compliments. It was a well, it's just my truth. It's just my truth. You know, just looking at your pictures and listening to your music, I'm like, oh, my God, she's someone that you can just, you know, just sit on the, you know, uh, in Monte Carlo or sit on the outskirts of Italy and just, you know, do my artwork, which I love, you know, making cartoons and drawing drawing yes. dolls for fashion and just play this music in the background and allow it to just, you know, take, let my soul and my spirit just, flow with the with the magic coming out of my hands as I draw. So trust me, it's it's you as well. It's totally you. Well, fantastic. Thank you uh, once again um, for uh, making yeah. me a part of the of the show. It's a pleasure for me. And um, um, how can I? Uh, I would like. Uh, to send you my recording when it comes out so that you can uh, uh, listen to it. Absolutely. Oh, I'll send, I'll get my information, I'll get my information right over to you and, and you can send it right to me. I, I'm so honored for it. I just want to thank you again for taking the time out of your busy schedule to interview with K Glam Radio on the Jam, Jam Glam Radio Show uh, where we play the best indie music and the best music in the world and we highlight amazing people such as yourself and I'm just again I'm just honored to have been interviewing with a legend in her own time so again you know happy new year congratulations on all the things that you've done and and what you're going to continue to do continue to do and I just can't wait to hear more and talk to you again thank you Kimberly and happy new year to you and lots of success and good health and um, happiness. Thank you so much. And you enjoy your rest of your evening, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye.